Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. On May 30th, or possibly the 31st, there's supposed to be a meteor shower that possibly could be the greatest meteor shower seen in over 20 years. Comet 73P, Schwajman and Washman 3, uh, supposedly broke up in 1995. And 15 years ago, uh, they notified the public there was no chance that any of the 40 fragments posed a danger to the Earth. Many of the fragments are about one meter across. The nucleus, what's left of the comet, is close to uh, one mile across. The Hubble telescope has been monitoring uh, this comet at, since its breakup. It was discovered in the 1930s. And more and more fragments have been discovered. Here's a few of the images that I found of the comet and its different parts that have broken up. They have been watching this since 1995 and they're just now reporting it to us that um, it very well could be something or nothing. Here's an image of um, some of the uh, fragments, I guess you can say. Anyway, since 1995 and yeah, we're just now hearing about it. Here's an animation of its breakup. Uh, this was taken by the Hubble Space Del Telescope in 2006. And they have a link to a video clip of its breakup. I made it larger for me. This is April 2006. And it, you can see it's spreading out. Um, most of the... Uh, Fragments are about one meter across, according to what I read, which is about three feet. This comet originally orbited the Earth about every five and a half years. And it came from the Jupiter belt, where a lot of comets get knocked out of orbit and, yeah, end up coming our, our way. In this paper that I'll give you a link, it says the orbit of the particles have evolved and the density of the particles within uh, 10 to the power of 6 kilometers of Earth was determined for each encounter from May 29th through June 3rd through 2025. Originally, this comet was uh, 2 kilometers, or almost 1.5 miles across. The orbit of SW3 is suitable for producing a low-velocity Earth crossing dust stream and they have images showing how this dust stream has evolved over time from 2012 2017 and what it will look like next year they don't have one for this year the earth is uh, predicted to encounter this dust stream the fragments every year it says but significant enhancement of SW3 dust flux are anticipated. It was supposed to be back in 2017 and then next year in 2023. And back in 2006, it says that there is no danger, at least at that time, to the people on the ground, the inhabitants of the International Space Station, as the main body of the object and any pieces from the breakup will pass many millions of miles beyond the Earth. Well, this year it's going to impact the Earth. Now, according to this article, Ta Herculid meteor shower may make an appearance on the night of May 30th and 31st. Sometimes astronomy can be full of surprises. Take the case of a tiny comet, normally far too faint to be seen. But in 1995, with the sudden and quite unexpected brightening um, to become dimly visible in the naked eye. Come the end of May, things could turn exciting, thanks again to the same tiny comet. On that night, a new meteor shower, the Ta Herculids, might erupt, perhaps ranking 
with the best of the annual meter displays. Yet there is also a chance of something extraordinary, perhaps one of the most dramatic meteor displays since the spectacular Lenin's meteor shower of more than 20 years ago. So do you believe they're telling us the whole story? Uh, I don't know what to say. They've been watching this for years and years, and we're just now hearing about it. What are your thoughts? Do you think there's any danger from this meteor shower, or is it something that we're going to end up talking about to our children, our children's children, etc.? Um, and it's not going to be over in just one night. You can see here uh, for 2023, the dust stream, the particles, the fragments are extensive. So what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.